Oh, as for the overall assessment, I believe there is, there's been no hostility. On the contrary, our meeting took place um, in a constructive spirit. Indeed, uh, we have varied assessments on a number of issues, but both sides expressed their intention to understand each other and to seek common ground. Talks were quite constructive. <coughs> As for cybersecurity, we agreed that we would begin consultations in this respect. I believe it is extremely important. As for responsibilities and who should take them, let me brief you on matters that are common knowledge, but probably not everybody is aware of that. Uh, U.S. Uh, sources, I don't want to make a mistake here as to the name of this organization, but uh, the U.S. sources claim that the majority of cyber attacks are made from the U.S. territory. Uh, then the second one is Canada, then two Latin American states, and then the UK. As for Russia, it is not listed in this ranking of uh, countries that see the most, uh, the significant number of cyber attacks from their territory. That's one thing. Secondly, throughout 2020, we have uh, received 10 requests uh, regarding cyber attacks, um, attacks uh, on uh, the U.S. infrastructure. As uh, our colleagues put it, these cyber attacks were launched from the Russian territory. And we received two such requests this year. And on all these requests, our colleagues received exhaustive answers. On its turn, Russia sent last year 45 such requests to the relevant agencies of the United States. And this year, we sent 35 requests. And no response has been provided so far. That says that we have a lot to work on. And as for the scale um, of responsibilities and who should take them, it should uh, be decided within negotiations. We agreed that we would start such consultations, and we believe that the cyber security area is extremely important in the world at large, for the United States in particular, as well as for the Russian Federation to the same extent. For instance, we know about cyber attacks against a pipeline organization in the United States, and we know that this company had to pay a ransom of 5 million USD. According to my information, uh, they were returned uh, some part of this money from electronic wallets, but some part of this money is still missing. But what does and what do Russian authorities have to do with this? We face the similar threats uh, when it comes to one of the um, key Russian regions and its healthcare system. And we see where these cyber attacks are launched from. We see that uh, these attacks are coordinated from the United States territory. I don't think that the United States authorities are interested in such kind of manipulations. We need to get rid of all kinds of insinuations and innuendo and we should launch the expert work for the benefit of the United States and the Russian Federation. We have reached an agreement in principle that, and Russia is ready to do that.